conservation of plants, flora and fauna, and endemic species. Flora is the plant life occurring naturally in a particular region. The word flora comes from the Latin name of flora, the goddess of plants and flowers. Similarly, the natural animal life in regions is known as fauna. Fauna comes from the Greek name fauna, a Roman goddess of earth. Endemic species Species that occur naturally in a certain area are called indigenous species. However, certain species are naturally found in just one area. They cannot be naturally found anywhere else. Such species are called endemic species. Organisms that are indigenous to a place are not endemic to it if they are also found elsewhere. Do you understand what that sentence means? It is very important to protect endemic species in an area because if they are wiped out from that area, it means they have gone extinct. We've used the word species a lot. Do you know what species means? It means a certain kind of animal or plant. Tigers are species. Lions are a different species. Animals of the same species can breed with each other to produce more babies. Endangered species Endangered species are those species that are in danger of dying out and becoming extinct. Scientists keep observing the population of different species and if the population of any particular species reduces beyond a certain limit, they are called endangered species. Species that are at high risk of going extinct in the wild are called critically endangered species. The government takes a lot of effort to save these species from dying out. Project Tiger was one of the successful projects that helped to increase the numbers of tigers in the forests of India. Smaller animals like snakes, owls, frogs, etc. are killed when they are spotted by humans. However, they are important in the food chain and killing them throws the ecosystem off balance. The Red List or the Red Data Book is the place where all information about the population of different endangered species is stored and their conservation status is mentioned. It is also called the Red List. This list is maintained by the IUCN, which is the International Union for Conservation of Nature. They check the population of all the species in a five-year span and keep updating the status. The data that they collect helps countries plan their conservation efforts to protect the variety of plant and animal life on Earth. Migration You know that some animals and birds move from one region to another in a particular season in order to survive. After the harsh conditions have passed, they return back to their region. You have learnt about this last year when you studied adaptations of different animals. So, in certain parts of the world, you may see certain species only for a specific season. That is because they are migrating and may have halted there for a break. Recycling of paper you know that we use paper almost every day. The textbook you are reading is made of paper. The worksheets you refer to are also made of paper. Likewise, the newspaper and many other things are made out of paper. We must save the paper to save the trees. Wait, I will explain this a bit later. 
Do you know how the paper is made? It is made of wood pulp. It requires 17 full-grown trees to make a ton of paper. A huge amount of water is used for manufacturing the paper. So, if we save paper, it will also save water, energy and trees. Now, did you get that sentence which I was saying earlier? So, we should not waste even a single sheet of paper. We should recycle and reuse the paper. This will indirectly lead to conservation of forests, energy and water. Reforestation What is reforestation? It means planting new trees on deforested land. Reforestation can also take place naturally. Humans have caused a huge loss to the forests. We must plant trees and conserve the forests. We should not let anyone destroy this natural wealth. We have a Forest Conservation Act which focuses on preservation and conservation of natural forests and meeting the basic needs of the people living in or near the forests. This act was established in 1980.